welcome back to the Weekly Grill with me, the not sick Leslie Rodriguez Kritzer. Wow, it has been the craziest. <clears throat> I was sick for, I think, well, I had to take off five shows because I got a crazy New York City new hybrid of a sinus infection and bronchitis, <clears throat> which was so fun. So thank you to David Josephsberg and Jamie Bertaluzzi and Gabby and Denise and everyone who contributed last week to the vlog without me. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. <clears throat> so something very exciting happened. Um, my second show back. Hannah Waddingham, who you all may know from Ted Lasso, and Jason Sudeikis was at the show. Now, I had told the producers and a couple of people, if anyone, like her specifically, um, comes to the show, please don't tell me. Please just don't tell me until after. I was having a good show. The first show was a little hard. The second show, I was I was like, oh, I'm, I feel good, I feel good. And then after, <gasps> Jimmy Smagula turns to me and's like, you wanna know who's here? And I was like, yeah, sure. And he's like, Hannah Wanigan. I was like, ah! Afterwards, um, she came back with Jason Sudeikis. She could not have been more lovely and kind. Um, and I just want to thank her so much and Jason for coming. She is just the most generous uh, and gorgeous and so tall in human ever. So thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Jason, for coming to see us and being so wonderful and kind. And Thank you, universe, that I was much better. I would have been devastated if I had missed meeting her. The day has come. David Josephsberg is making his Patsy debut. Our poor, wonderful Chris Fitzgerald <clears throat> um, is out tonight. So David has been practicing and ready to go in for Patsy. And so tonight we will be following his little journey um, as you know, David and I did Beetlejuice together. He's incredible. We're all super excited for him. Where is he? What are you looking for? <laughs> are you dressed halfway? <laughs> are you excited? Very excited. Ready to slip? Slap! Slip and slap of it! You see a lot of cross eyes. Yeah! Oh. We're so excited for you! Very excited. Yay! Yay! We're so excited. You did such a great job on last week's vlog. You know Thank you. Anything for you. And anything for the people. This is true. Are you excited? Are you so psyched? I'm super psyched. I'm very excited. I, I, You're so ready for this. I have been, I am, I was born ready. <laughs> Wait, what is happening uh, in here? Uh, careful, this, uh, I think he's practicing sawing a lady in there. I might be thinking of this one tonight, too. So, like Walker, what are you doing? Wait, what? Trimming the beard. She's out? Maybe. You're trimming the beard! You gotta trim the beard. We gotta keep it nice and fresh for you. I mean, look at this. Come on. I just saw the bathroom. Yeah. It's so good. Super proud of it. Are you excited for him to go on? We, we will, of course, miss our Chris, but... <laughs> you know, he's... Everyone misses Chris, but when we did back in the Motown days... Jesus! He and I... Oh, I didn't realize here. you had Motown days together. Oh, we swings in Motown. Motown. Look at everyone coming to... We're sure to I Congratulations. Came, I came to say congratulations because... The first time I ever saw this man was actually in Beetlejuice. I am seeing him as a fan. This is my first time I actually get to work with him. I went to see Beetlejuice for the first time, and you were on. So I am so excited Yay! to share the stage with you. I hope I don't hurt you. It's going to be great. We're going to have a good time. Nice, nice. We're good time. That's baby. right. You guys are partners tonight. Yes. I'm going to do anything you say. No, bro, I got you. We are going to be great. How are you feeling? I'm going to be great. You're going to be great. Are you nervous about anything? Uh, yeah. No, Which part? Everything. Which part? Uh, the first word. <laughs> Which is? A fin! A fin! You're gonna be great. I know. Have a great time! Yeah, I love you. Mwah! How did it go? It was fun. It was literally, a, this is the honest to God's truth, okay? I've been in this business for what? 75 years? It's like just so much fun. I feel like we're just hanging out with people playing. And honestly, you almost made us, you almost broke me when you, when you ran off stage during Camelot, I lost my ever. He's giggling behind me. He's so and good. I was like, what did I, what did he I was giggling. And I was like, I don't know. I don't oh know if God. I can talk. I don't oh, know if I can talk. Lift. Isn't he so good? It was a lift. So good. All right. So the good. lift, the Yay. lift. You got, you got there. You got there. It was scary for a minute. It, it, there was good tension. Yes, it was yeah. the love. You're a genius. Yes. Tension. You're a genius. We love you. We Thank goodness you. you're we finally you. on we stage. Thank you.
Yoshi. No. You gotta take me. No. Take me. <laughs> I can't believe you're going. I mean, everything we've gone through together, the Kennedy Center. All the house is open. The house is open. They're ready for you. And they're coming to see you, and you just are leaving us. I just didn't know you were going to leave this soon. You know what I mean? Like, we could have talked about it. No, I mean, it's not over there, but it's, it's, you can look at me and tell me because we all know you're a star. There's no bones about it, but like, I just, I just, I really wish you the best. I do. We're just going to miss you. We're going to miss you so much. Um, but that's your miss. Everyone leaves. We'll have a good show. So today we're going to sit down with Jen Caprio, who was our costume designer for uh, Spam a Lot, and talk about some of the new costumes that she created specifically for the show and for me. So this is the incredible Jen Caprio. Hi. Who was our costume designer for Spam a Lot. Um, I've talked a lot about how much I love my costumes and I am so grateful for this woman right here who, one of the things we talked about was really important to Jen was specifically for me, the entire show, but for me, speaking personally, was to really put a new stamp on Lady of the Lake and I am so, so, so grateful. So, um, and she has, and we're gonna look at some of the costumes. And I will say it's very rare as a costume designer, or like as an actor to come into a process with a costume designer who's like, this is what my vision is, what do you think? Down to like, we were at, um, was it Donna Langman's yeah. uh -huh. studio? And we went through fabrics and Jen, already had an incredible vision. Some of your sketches, I wish I had some of them with me, um, are so amazing. And we went through fabrics together. I mean, that never, ever happens. And I feel like that's a testament to who you are as a costume and designer. It's, it's how I work. Like, everybody works so differently. And I like to spend time with the talent to be like, how does this fabric look on your skin tone? Does it go with your hair? Your hair, as it is right now, is not the no. hair we have uh, and your wig, your wig is much more red. Right. So it's, you know, how how does the fabric look with that red hair on your skin? And so I like to play with all of that if I have time. It was just an amazing process. And speaking of, let's take a look at some of these costumes up close and yeah. personal. Okay, so this, and I'm going to, I will hold it up a little closer, but this is my first Lady of the Lake look. Well, this is Jen's design. The original had like, the clamshells and the mm -hmm. whole iconic Sada Ramirez look, but this is new. When Josh and I were talking about how to reinvent Leslie, we wanted to go away from the clams and go towards fish. We were like, well, lake, fish, lake, you know, and mm -hmm. um, that was our way uh, into what this lady of the lake is. You know, in a, in a 2023 world where we uh, now have fabric printing, like this belt, is actually printed on sequins, which that's was really crazy. cool. Like, that's a new that. thing. Um, we're like, actually, you can print on sequins. And I was like, cool, that's really fun. And um, speaking of water, so there's a second element. And this is, oh my God, explain this, because this is hand-painted? It's this all right? hand-painted. So this is a watercolor hand-painted uh, silk. And then we sent it back to Donna Langman, who hand and put the pearls on. I mean, um, are you joking? Wow. So that we could have, it looks sort of like dangling jewels and, you know. Yeah, pearls. and when I open my arms, it's like, yeah. it looks like water. It's, yeah. So, she wears it for like two seconds. And I wear it on top of that dress that you just saw. This one is, it's wild because... Oh. It's very, very sparkly. Look at that sparkle. You need a human in it because we really, it's a fishnet. It's, so she's a fish caught in a net, but it's also sparkly because she's a diva. And we want it to, to really lean into the ladiness. It's my favorite costume. When it's on stage, it just glitters gold. Like, it just it's, glitters look gold. at that. Look at that. I get to wear that every night. And because of the fabric, like, I don't know if you can yeah, see yeah. this. Like, yeah. you have a nude net that's dyed to Leslie's skin tone. 
so that dyed to my skin tone. It looks like she's only what? wearing sparkles, and then even the inside, like yeah. everything is finished. Look, and she puts the, with the ribbon, <clears throat> the ribbon inside that mm-hmm. you know, and this is a special, you know, corset, and she lines every all of this is edged so that there's no itching for Leslie. It's you know, unbelievable. It's, Thank you so much. Going into 2024, I'm just so grateful that we had this experience together. It's one of the, my year's highlights. We really worked as a team, yeah. and it was really great. So. That's why I do this. Collaborate. I know. know. You love it. Thank you so much for spending time. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. It was so fun. So it is our last show of 2023 here at Spamalot. And I am going around the building, and I'm asking people the following. To choose a word for 2024 that can guide, inspire, or motivate you to make it your best year yet. Inspire. Audacity. Leslie. <laughs> Acceptance. Go Ace. Ace. <laughs> Choose a word for 2024 that can guide, inspire, or motivate you to make it your best year yet. Incendiary. Ooh. Does someone have a dictionary? <laughs> I would like my other word That's to be magnanimous. <laughs> okay, are we taking the SAT or what's happening? Perspective. Surrender. Courage. Partnership. I don't f- know. Just one word. Um, First thing they come to mind. Of. How dare you all? <laughs> Bear. Joy. So I say it. Yeah. Balance. My word is grace. Giving grace more, like giving back to people and like not taking things so personally. Perfect. My word is breath. Maybe my word is breathe. My word is breathe. Breath just seemed weird. Scrumtralescent. Calm. Believe. Courage. Confidence. Be present. Elevate. Wholeness. I'm gonna pick my same word as 2023 and it's balance because I didn't nail it last year. We're gonna do better this year. What's your word? Gratitude. Yeah. Your word. My oh, word is balance. Thank you. Well, I asked everyone what their word was for 2024. And mine is fearless. Fearless. 2024. Fearless. You can't wear my wig. You're not allowed, so just step off. Bitch. So David Josephsberg made his Alan. historian <laughs> Herbert <laughs> debut today and was incredible. Oh. We're not allowed to show you some of the backstage footage because it's not for you. Sexy. Not for you. But <laughs> how do you feel? Uh, I feel great. It was a little uh, a little crazy. I don't remember like most of it. Uh, but the nudity I remember and the connections not with on the stage. fellow thespians. But, no, uh, well, it, semi. Yeah, no, it was great. It was fun. Everyone's always so like. But you know what the thing about you is what? that you never surprise anybody. Like you're always so good at every single part you go on for, and That's so you're sweet. so. He did a thing where he went. You're getting sleepy, and I. I was doing belly rolls. You were you just. You're getting sleepy. Just the best. <laughs> And we love, we are so lucky that you're here. Well, and you literally could like take over any of these parts. It's nuts. No, but thank you. Uh, I think that it's, it's a lot of help and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Hi, and this is Look of the Week. Today we're going to start at the top here. We have a bow tie from uh, Fine and Dandy and a pocket square as well. The cufflinks this week are very special gemstone. This is a Peruvian opal. Uh, this was made for me by a Persian shop. And we have a coat by Joseph Abood for Men's Warehouse. We have slacks from Banana Republic. And we have the boots are from Taft, my favorite company. Russ, this is your last Last look look of of 2023. 2023. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. In 2019, when I did the first uh, Broadway.com vlog, Owen was how old? 12. 12. And now Owen is? 16. And Owen, I surprised Owen at the stage door at the Winter Garden, showing them the picture, and I brought him backstage 
That's that's the photo. Changed my life. That was so cool. And here he is. And you're 16. I know. Cool. And I'm not. <laughs> oh my god, it's so great to see you, Owen. Yeah. This is so exciting. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Okay, so this week I am featuring the sound department and with me is... Emile Lafargue. Who is the... House sound person. At the St. James. Now, Emile, explain to people what that means exactly. Uh, it means whenever a show comes into our theater, uh, whatever sound needs they need, I give them. Uh, we do all the installation, we every sound system that comes in the building. Uh, and I interface with the production who comes into the building and we work together and we put a show together. I stay with the building. Uh, productions do come and go. He's got a good job. <laughs> He's got an in-house job, which is the job you want. That is like, that's like a prime gig. It certainly is. Because any show that comes in here, and a lot of people don't know this, he's gonna be working here no matter what, right? That is true. Okay, very cool. Emil, you promised you would tell me the story about how you got here, so. Late 80s. <laughs> Uh, I grew up in this neighborhood in Hell's Kitchen on 43rd and 10th Avenue, yeah. one block from this building. Um, wow. And I would usher in the, in the different theaters. And you would get 25 bucks a show. Oh my God. And uh, I would do that part time. I had other jobs. I was in college and I would come back. I would do that off and on. Um, then I started ushering at the show Rent. I was in between, I was in a bad accident, I was in between gigs, ready to go back to college, and then I was offered the stage doorman job. At, at Rent. At Rent, wow. at the Needle Lander in 1996. Where I, by the way, stood outside in the cold for how many hours did we do it then? Uh, days. Hours. Days. Like, like a whole day, standing outside, and you were probably working there. I was in college, and you were on a break from college? Yes. So I was a stage doorman, and I became friendly with all the people backstage, uh, specifically Brian Ronan, uh, who was the mixer of the show. And I would hang out with them and say, hey, you want to do sound? I said, I don't really know anything about sound. Wow. They said, don't worry about it, just show up. I worked with Brian as an assistant on Triumph of Love. Whoa, with Betty Buckley. Yes. Wow. And I did that. I didn't have any idea what I was doing. Um, and then Brian needed help on another show called Cabaret. And that was it. How it got sucked into this business. It was not my original plan. The money was good. The people were nice. And I just kept doing it and doing it. And there we go. Here I've been. What would you say to anybody that's like, whoa, that job seems really cool. I'm really interested in doing that. What would you uh, advise them to do? Uh, don't say no when yeah. you're offered. If you're offered anything or there's something there, don't say no. Just take it and you'll figure it out. Nick, what do you do every night? So every night, we look at this monitor and we take bets on who's going to have a freak out when the person her chunk can right next to them. Okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> They're going to say, you know, time for Finland. These lights are going to go blue, they will go on, and then I will film this. And whoever wins, uh, I, we get bragging rights. Yeah, bragging rights. Okay, so who do we think right now? So it's Sky and the Glass oh, right. is mine. Here we go, here we go. In the middle? Frankie Valley? Yeah, Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley. God damn it! But it was no girl on the side. It was a girl on the side. Oh, girl on the side. You got it. That was yes, good. girl on the side. Good job. <laughs> That's been another amazing week here at Spamalot. Thank you for joining me. Next week is our last episode, and it will be a very memorable one for many reasons. So please tune in to the last last episode. We're going to be saying goodbye and saying hello to some people. So it will be a special one. Have a great week.